Alright guys, what's up? Nef here and this is Wasteland 3. So I just realized I spent so much time looking at the weapons and I ended up not buying a thing. So kind of a waste. For now, um, we're gonna go here. Am I even inside? Yeah, so we're now gonna talk to Flab. I'm probably gonna get a side quest to kill whatever is downstairs. I, not that the bazaar is not perfectly safe, but... Uh... Well, you know, just talk to Flav. Then it. Talk to, not that the bazaar is not perfectly safe, but, uh, well, you know, just talk to Flav. Saying the same thing. Not that the bazaar is not perfectly safe, but, uh, well, you know, just talk to Flav. Ah, children of the dead. What wonderful music they make. What do you want of Jacob the Magnificent? The splendid, wonderful. Ah. <laughs> Let's never mind with the acts, shall we? Rangers, I am so sorry you had to witness <laughs> that horrible exploding peak. To this, you do not find us at the best of times. Do not judge harshly, my friends. We hold on to our rituals of the past to try to remember our long lost strength. It may strike you as pathetic, but it gives us much needed comfort. I am calm because I must be, friend. So is the burden of leadership. But you are right. This place is under assault. You are the Patriarch's Rangers, yes? If he trusts you, so can I. Nothing we've done has helped. So, your arrival could not be more fortuitous. We need your help to combat this threat. Do I have this? Or is this what I'm gonna get? Um, it's been two weeks, uh, maybe. Not long at all. At first, we thought it might have been the fanciful imaginings of the <laughs> chemically influenced. But then, a pig appeared out of nowhere, outside the bazaar, ran into a party of mashers, and exploded. <laughs> Quite distressing. People have been disappearing ever since, and more pigs keep appearing. I need my masters to keep the place safe. We need outside help. Your help. Wonderful. <laughs> I can't fully trust a person unless they're honest and money is the most honest of all i just had them short of course of course here is some extra upfront pay with more do when you return good luck Raiders dressed as clowns i see everything makes sense now the makeup on the pigs, the horrible deaths. Ah, that yeah, explains okay. who is behind these attacks. They are one of the wild gangs that escaped the Patriarch's control. I've not had to deal with them in decades. But last I did, 
They raided one of our caravans. Didn't even take most of the supplies. They seemed to think it was just a funny joke to kill our men. If it is Los Payasos down there, we truly need your help. They would not hesitate to kill every living thing in my home in the most unspeakable ways. We won't be safe until every last payaso is dead. You ask too much of me, my friends. What is a leader but a servant of the community? My story is the bizarre story. I am nothing but a receptacle of its wishes. <laughs> Where do I start? <laughs> Once I was a humble lieutenant in the monster army. Then the patriarch came to the bazaar. He executed my predecessor and everyone else was too stupid <laughs> to understand that this is the new world order. When he came to me, I did not hesitate. I swore myself to his service, marrow and muscle, and the patriarch in his infinite grace gave me command of the bazaar and all of its lives. I appreciate the delicacy. Your compassion will be remembered. But no, I've no thoughts on the nickname they've given to me, and no cause to think of it. Hello, Slab describes me well, does it not? Good! Most would have lied to my face, told me that Flab the Inhaler was a blasphemy against my greatness. <laughs> but you, you have courage. I see a long friendship ahead of us. I, was, I wasn't actually thinking, I just clicked. So. The truth yeah. is that I see this fat as proof of my station in life. Here, in these wastelands, how many have the opportunity to eat and flourish as I have? And I would be a bad host if I did not provide you with answers. A uh, decadent oasis steeped in culinary wonders. The bazaar is Colorado's gastronomic holy land. It is a carnival of wonders. It is paradise. But it was even more splendid once, a long time ago. Primal, a wild place. I was there when the monster army first arrived in the bazaar. We tore the farmers limb from limb, fed them to their pigs. A graceless epoch, but so visceral, so alive. But its savagery had no place under the patriarch's rule. He is a harsh man, but his edge is directed, guided. Not like the chaos of old. For you, my friends, be sure to check out our stores. The sanctified Piscitelli and Queen Talbot in particular should have goods most useful to your cause. They weren't the good old days. My family still tells stories about the monster army and the horrible things they did. Your young friend is right, of course. Those times were most regrettable. 
and yet also the most delicious. <laughs> so, a uh, story? With pleasure. The bazaar will be waiting. I'm gonna save first before I ask anything. In case the fame or something goes down, I'm gonna be okay. Alright, this one. Oh Esteemed guests, we still need your high decadent oasis. Steep one story. My favorite story. Oh, I suppose I cannot blame you for being curious. Let's see. Yes, yes, I suppose I know the one. A wolf man once challenged me for the rule of the bazaar. He decided that I was weak, too soft for the role. So, he challenged me to a duel, and I agreed, but that night he died, shitting blood in his bed. They told me he screamed himself wrong. Poor little pup. He should have been more careful with his food. <laughs> Good one. Oh, that one is easy. It was late and so cold that the air cut our lungs to ribbons. We'd heard rumors of a sanctuary an unguarded place fat with meat and helpless farmers no military force to speak of so we came in the night an army of monsters we cut their throats in their sleep one hour a hundred dead you should have seen the blood the night ran red. There was enough to fill a lake. It was beautiful. Savagery refined to an unctuous art. Uh, you have to forgive me. This story is not mine, but Adela's. The beautiful madam of Chicks Flicks. She just arrived in the bazaar, hungry for a place in our kingdom. The space where her theater stands, it belonged to someone else. Edelan, wise in the nature of the world, offered the owner something he could not refuse. The orgy lasted for days. Men, women, animals, anything with a hole or an appendage that could either be sucked or slotted into a dripping orifice. Jesus Christ. The stains took weeks to clean, but Eidolon fucked her way to her heart's desire. Ah, oh, a legend, that woman. It will be my delight to answer. The bazaar will be waiting. Okay, so we're gonna go to kill whatever is downstairs. I got the doctor cold cuts can cure what ails ya. The warrants were excavated from decades of snow. Shame it's lost to us now. If I clear this area, not only am I going to be at the good side of the flab, I'm also going to get this guy as my chef. And I forgot to check this container. Hot noodles. Somebody told me they said one What's the perfect food? Noodles. How many do we have? Oodles. Who should have some now? Oodles. Masada makes the best. Hi folks, this is Masato at the bazaar, and I have discovered the perfect food. 
instant noodles. But pre-war packets are hard to come by, so I have reversed engineered their deliciousness and have them for sale at my stall for all to enjoy. Yes, at Masato's noodle stand, we have oodles of noodles for yoodles. What's the perfect food? Noodles, how many do we have? Oodles, who should have some now? Yoodles, and now we have to go toodles. By far one of the best cassettes I've ever heard in this game. I'm gonna end it here. I'm gonna go downstairs. What I'm planning to do to save on medical equipment or medical stuff. I'll clear a certain area. Go back. Then go downstairs again. I am hoping the enemies don't um they don't like how do I say it? Um they don't like come back once you leave the area, you know. And like subscribe, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.